I want to attempt to try to play these spoonbill. I don't do it the way everybody else does it. Try to make a little video trying to show you how we do it. Uh, I'm not telling you it's the proper way, but we're going to do it anyway. Get right up under here, that fin, um, underneath that cheekbone. Uh, and get in there. And... All right, come back and move that fin and come back out. And... That's a male. Is that the rib bone like any other fish? Yeah, uh, yeah, they really don't have a rib bone, but they have a, it's a kind of a, you know, that kind of just belly meat and stuff. They got this right here, it's more of the backbone, it's a gristle. It's not, they don't have a, really a backbone and bones in them. And I make sure all of that is out. But uh, yeah, this is kind of like, kind of like that, uh, uh, I like a rib bone, but it's really ain't got no ribs in. I like to leave a little bit of meat right there so I can have something to hold on to. And then This one, I took a little too much meat off of it. I just take it, lay that out. It's a lot of red meat. Ain't got a, it ain't really really good anyway. Uh, some people eat it. Some people don't. For me, if it's got very much red on it, it goes in the trash. Okay, if you look, this has got a lot of red meat. And to me, uh, that is just nasty, man. So I do not eat that. I do not keep that. I take it and I kind of flay that off. And I take a thin fillet until I get down to it. That's what that comes out to be. And that's trash. Uh, you see there's still some more on there, so I... I'm going that direction. Just 
starting to see that I'm getting more out of the red meat out of there, getting into the whiter meat. Uh, some of it's got a lot more. I like to skim it all and try to get all the red meat I can. Uh, a lot of people think I'm wasting, but you know, if you want to eat it, uh, well, go right ahead. Not just taste what they call muddy or yeah, it puts a slime. It it makes it slimy. It makes it uh, uh, taste like mud, uh, uh, like shoe leather. Uh, it's just you, when you fry it up, it comes greasy and and it, it just to me it's just plain nasty. So that's uh, just the way I do it. I, I I do all my catfish, even my flathead and and my blue cat like that uh, uh, because they got more red meat in it than you would think uh, i like to take a strip right down there like a cat a lot of people don't do that they just start taking it up but i like all that stuff out of there you can see now it's still got all that white and red and everything in there and it comes down to about right where I took it off. A lot of people, they do, uh, do this at, uh, at conservation ramps at different places. They have big knives and, and uh, they have big knives and they just do them, play them out, and they'll send you send you home with your play of fish. Uh, and uh, they they do it different, but uh, I'm not everybody else. So, and I'm not I'm not good at it. I just do it the way I normally do it, and I go from there and put it in some water. And start out and again. Bring it right up to here. The last one I didn't cut far enough. So this one, I'm going to cut deep enough. Okay. Uh, I will show you, you can, I start up here. So I'm here, but I'll have to start back here on this one. Just to show you something here in a little bit. Now, the last one I started up here more on the tail, and uh, I'll show you. Why I usually do this, I, I took it down lower, but uh, there's none of that tail, all that red meat in that tail is any good. I, so I don't keep that. Uh, if you like the red meat, then you have an extra bite. But if you don't, I still have my piece of meat there I can hold on to, keep my fish from sliding. didn't do too good. But it's all gotta come off in anyway.
This right here is part of the backbone, actually. That's just uh, what they call the backbone. It's a film, uh, kind of a jelly-filled membrane thing there. I call it a gristle-like. what's in that. Now, you don't want to eat that. Uh, I don't care if you think it's good or not. You don't want to eat that. <laughs> and I'll start cleaning the red off of it. see that closer to that tail the more reds in it See that right there? See, that's pretty nasty. A lot of people won't take time to clean that off. If you don't like nasty, muddy fish, then you're not going to want to eat any of that. Well, we're going to try to cut it up. We got them all cleaned up, flayed up. Uh, I want to see if I can cut them up. Now, a lot of people do them different ways. I know a guy at work, he kind of does it uh, differently. Uh, kind of go the way he does it. He just kind of takes his and the steaks and puts them like that. And I call it French frying, but uh, they call them staking it up. If they're too big, you can cut them in half and uh, go from there. You're ready to go. There's a lot of ways of doing this. Everybody does it differently. Uh, a lot of people like putting them in a... Cooking a whole filet in tomato juice. So, you know, I've never done that. I couldn't tell you what it was like. But... Uh, there's just different ways of doing it and you just figure out which way is the best for you which way you like them a lot of times i take them and and uh and i do do something different with them uh, i like for example i add a little play of meat so it's just however you want to do it, and uh, you know for your own preference. Uh, this is probably the actually easiest way. And the fastest way uh, to get stuff done. You can go. Uh, sometimes you just get tired of cleaning after you get very many or get a couple of them that's big like that. And a lot of people soak it in buttermilk. Some people soaks it in just milk. Uh, I like to soak it in lemon juice or Sprite. Because lemon juice takes the slime out of it. It takes a lot more slime out of it. Cleans it up a lot better. And uh, that's why I use that. So it's just your preference on how you would do it and how you'd like to do it.